Hey guys, this is Long Haul Larry and Big Blue. We are in Bristol, Virginia. It is Friday, August 10th, 2018. 217 p.m. 84 degrees. And we are on our way. Time to roll these last little miles. Get on up to Manassas, Virginia. Yeah, I should have just parked at the mall there. That whole parking lot's empty. Would've been a lot easier to get out of there. Most definitely, that whole place is closed down. Well, they got chains over that part of the lot though. So, uh, once again, sorry there, Freddy. I tried to get a hold of you as best I could. I just was not able to um, touch bases with you. We'll hook up some other time, maybe. And congratulations to the winner of that $50 gift card, uh, Bronson, I want to say. But old Aaron, our Overdrive, Ram McNally Overdrive 7 Pro GPS, is telling me that I have 345 miles to my destination. I am sitting right at a quarter tank of fuel. So I'm gonna have to stop and and um, grab some fuel someplace. And that'll be good, because I need a shower too. I've been out working on a little special project all morning long. That I hope will be working and revealed tomorrow. Hey guys, here we are running up to Virginia, mile marker 127. Closest town, I guess, will be Elliston, Virginia. And it's a nice little drive through here. I'm usually doing this at night. I'm trying to remember, I think the scale is right up here. Not like right up here, but a few, like 10, 15 miles, something like that. reduced to 65 and and they call it a safety corridor but that doesn't mean we need to do 57 miles an hour there Mr. Chevy
a lot of Stevens trucks. I think this is, I think the like the fourth one I've come on upon since I took my break. Is this where the scale is? Oh, this USA truck, watch this. Okay. All right, buddy, thank you. I thought he was gonna pull out. <coughs> pulled over and um, did a fuel and a half an hour break. I took a shower and stuff. Back at Flying J. I pulled in there and started to record a uh, fueling stop and I opened the door and there blaring music across the VA system. So Couldn't record it. But since I've taken off, I think I passed four of those Stevens trucks. Scale number one, the dreaded Virginia scales. Da, da, da. I think I got a sound for that. Maybe this one. <coughs> Let's see if what happens here. Come on here, pre-pass, don't fail me now. Oh, going in. Here we go. I talked to my boss about this. We had a chat about this. He thinks it's because the Virginia Scales wants people to stop using the pre-pass because they want uh, everybody to switch over to DriveWise. It's a different system. And so he thinks that's the reasoning behind this. Who knows? Well, this guy got bypassed. So did I. <clears throat> I got you, buddy. I got you. Come on, let's go. Step into it. So that's what he thinks. He thinks that Virginia is trying to get people, because there's like, there's three trucks coming behind me that were pre-passed. Boy, look at the southbound side. That's backed all the way up to the road. You don't stop for that. They're backed up that far. Man, that guy... Ramp's full, you'd go. It looks like a full ramp to me. Is this that same Lexus? I think I was videoing before. No, I don't think I was. There was a Lexus that was like all over the place, all in and out of traffic. And they had some like low profile rims. Let's see if we can see him before he gets up. 
No, that's not him. There was a Lexus just like that one, that SUV there. And I had like some low profile rims and all fancied up. That was all over the place. Kept speeding up, slowing down, jumping in between everybody. And then I said he like, I look, he was up a ways, up ahead of me a ways and I said he just like slammed down the brakes and he, there was a uh, turnaround thing in the middle of the highway for police and emergency vehicles and such. And a guy cut through the ditch and went back into that driveway and went on the southbound side. That's like, that was a fancy move there, buddy. Uh, we're going to get held up. Now Big Blue's got too much power. I need to drill a hole in that throttle body. <laughs> uh, 70 miles an hour once again. What's this? Houdini's Challenge. One exit mobile escape room .com. Look at this trailer. This thing is just like all over the place. That's really become a big thing with those uh, escape rooms. See those things popping up all over the place. Here. He said there's a couple. 
and if you get there early enough, you should be able to get one. Well, it's 8.14 in the morning, or at night, sorry. And I don't deliver till 8 in the morning, but I'm in, but that's 8 o'clock Eastern time, I'm on Central time, so it's 11 hours, actually 10 and 45 minutes, 10 hours, 45 minutes. Well, I did get an email from the winner, Bronson, I believe his name is. I saw that I got an email from him, so I got to think up of something for him to say in this here video. It's kind of like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> it's like, what can I make him say to get a $50 gift card? They're all closed up. Um, so I went up there and I rang the little buzzer to get into the gate. And it says that they receiving 
is from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it said something about after hours or something, but there's nobody in there, so I'm not even going to mess around. Not even going to mess with it. So I pick up at, or I deliver at 8 a.m. in the morning, and it says they open at 5, so I might, um... I might actually uh, get up early and go and check in with them. Maybe I can get unloaded early. Who knows? There's another truck that's down on the road right in front of the driveway. And he just pulled up by the right in front of the driveway and stopped. So who knows? Who knows what he's doing? A lot of vehicles coming in here though. I think they got their own trucks. Well, that truck must be gonna be delivering in the morning too. I bet you he comes in here once in a while. He pulled up, he must be a little pull off area there and he pulled up and shut his lights off, so. Okay then. So we are all done for the day, I guess. Shutting her down. Probably make some dinner. All right, just have me a salad and a sandwich, I guess. And that'll be my dinner for tonight. And what else am I gonna do? Oh, I gotta work. I gotta get my little project all finished and completed that I started earlier. Um, got some wiring to do. That electrical stuff, nasty stuff. So uh, I gotta finish that up because I got a show day guys tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope that everyone out there is having themselves a great day, a great night when you're watching this here video. And if you're not, I certainly could change that and try it all over again tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.